Alright. Yeah, I think we're ready. Yeah. Okay, so I will explain class quickly then. So all it is today is two blocks of work. This is kind of what I've been working with recently via Instagram Live. It is a short, quick workout to really get our day started in the best way so that we can just go on crushing the rest of the day happiest and full of energy. Um, uh, so it is two blocks of work, just five exercises in each block. Since it is a quicker workout, we are going to work with longer times for the exercises. So it will be 50 seconds for every single exercise we do, and then 10 seconds between exercises for transitions right into the next exercise. Once we go through both blocks one time, we will just go back to the top, do it one more time through. That is it. We will already know the exercises at that point, so we will be ready to go, more ready than ever, to get through the rest of class after that halfway point. Um, uh, the first block is going to be just alternating lower and upper body and a little bit of cardio at the end. And the second block is always our favorite. We love to do some core, so we'll be down on the mats, down on the floor. Um, but we're going to start with a little bit of a stretch, so meet me on your feet, and then we will stretch. Also, sometimes the connection is a little iffy on here so if it does pause or anything i will do my best to jump right back on but i thank you in advance for your amazing patience thank you friends all right let's do it let me turn up the music for us it's literally right next to my furnace just like sweating all right so meet me on your feet let's stretch y'all We're gonna start with feet wide. We're just gonna start with some big breaths just to get our breath flowing through our bodies, warm up our muscles a little bit before we speed it up. So inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, fold at your hips all the way down. Inhale, back up. Legs are staying straight. Exhale, all the way down. It's nice and slow. Inhale, back up. Looking all the way up. Exhale, down. Two more. We're going to do one more. This time, hold at the bottom. Come over to your right leg. Try to keep both legs as straight as you can in this moment. And make sure we are still breathing. We're going to take about two or three slow breaths at your own pace here. One more breath. And bend your opposite knee, still holding your right leg at the bottom if you want. You can go ahead, grab a fork for extra support if that feels good to you. And breathe. Try to keep your breath slow throughout this little stretch. Back up to the top, we switch to our left leg. Both legs are straight again. As we wait for the smoke to clear, and we watch our dreams appear, I know that we can rise Good. together. Keep your breath as slow as you can. This vision that we share is ours. Together we can touch the stars. I know that we will see. Take one more summer. breath right here. And bend your opposite knee, hold at the bottom. Again, the floor is here for your support if you want. Take one more breath here. Back up, we're going to come center. Crawl or step out into a high plank. You can come down to your knees if you want and bring your right foot forward into a low lunge. Move around a little bit, see how that feels in your hamstrings and your hip flexors. Are we still breathing? Right leg back, switch left. Again, move around on this side as well. How does it feel compared to the other side? Notice that. We're going to hold this for just a couple more breaths. And go ahead and pick your back knee up off the floor. Bring it to meet your front foot and slowly roll up to the top. Do a few arm circles to the back just to open up your shoulders, open up your chest a little bit. 
Still breathing. Check it out. Alright, we are gonna speed things up a bit, friends. If you can hear the music clearly, we're gonna try to stick to the beat for the warm up. But again, for both the warm up and for class, just listen to your body. Whatever feels good to you and your body in this moment. Live your best life. Do what feels good to you. And we will work together to the end of class. Yeah? Alright. It's hit, 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 kind of job. We are still trying to keep our slow breath moving as long as we can to keep control over it. We're gonna turn this into jumping jacks in three, two, one, up. If the jumping is too much right off the bat, absolutely can step side to side here. But both arms are moving. We have four more. Four, three, two, just back to our dog. our little jog here. If the jumping is too much, you can bounce just from side to side off your toes. We just want to make sure we are keeping our bodies moving. And three, two, jumping jacks. Up. Core is tight. We are avoiding leaning back with this. For eight, seven, for four, three, last time, just jog. Feet are moving, arms are moving as well. Full body is engaged. Four more last time to the jumping jacks. In three, two, one, up. Remember, you can step side to side. That is still an option here. Maybe eight more. Eight. We will slow it down in four, three, two. Squat straight down. Nice and slow. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Give me four more. Four. Squeeze up. Three. For two. We hold it down and pulse right here. Small. It is a small pulse. Shoulders are staying back. Chest is forward. Towards me. Four. For three. Two. One. Hold. Three. Check yourself right here. Are we keeping form? Our knees right over toes. Our shoulders back, chest up. Four is tight. Hold. Prayer four. Three. Two. Reverse lunge. Straight back. Right. Switch left. Easy alternating sides. Same breath work. So inhaling down, exhaling up. Two. We add three pulses at the bottom. It's three. Two. One, switch left. Good. Two more. Back knee is staying up off the floor. Last one. Good. Lateral one. Step all the way out. Just switching sides. Opposite leg stays nice and straight. You're pushing your butt straight back. Two more. Shake it out. Over out. High plank. On or off your knees. We finish with push ups on or off your knees. It's down, squeeze up. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Give me four more. Four, three, two. Hold your plank after this last one. Just breathe. Almost there. Four, three, two, one, up. Woo! All right, let that go. Take a second. I need a second. Towel off, get some water if you want. We have 30 seconds. And then we are gonna jump right into our first block, which is again, just alternating between lower and upper body and a little bit of cardio on top of what we just did. So we're already ready. 20 seconds. All right, our first exercise is a squat reverse lunge combo. We go into our squat, go straight back into a reverse lunge, back to our squat, and then just switch sides. So we're trying to stay low throughout. In three, two, one, here we go. First exercise, squat, reverse lunge, and then just going right into the other side. Remember, back knee staying up off the floor for the reverse lunge. You got it. Let's also keep in mind 50 seconds 
takes a little bit of time, especially when we're doing an exercise. So take your time with it. See how it feels. See where your levels are feeling. If you can push yourself to that next level, which you can. You got it. If you need to, by the way, if you need a little break on your quads, you can come up after the squat and then go right back down to switch sides. Less than 10 seconds, we come down to the floor. Plank in three, two, one. On or off your knees. Three plank rows into a rotation, T spine rotation. Then you switch sides. In three, two, one. All the way up. So it is three alternating rows. Third row, you open up all the way to the side and then switch. If you are doing this on your knees here, three rows. So. And then just opening up to the side as much as you can from your knees. Both work here, you got it. Biggest thing here is going to be stability. So as you row, if you feel your hips moving side to side at all, make sure you widen your knees or widen your feet. Squeeze your core just a little bit more to prevent that from happening. Less than 10. Meet me on your feet in three, two, one. Feet wide, static low, lateral lunge. So feet stay there, shifting side to side. Three, two, one. Here we go. Lateral lunges, trying to stay low as you transition from side to side. If you can, try to keep your feet facing front here throughout the exercise. Really getting our outer glutes as well as inner thighs as we stretch from side to side. Halfway. Crushing it, friends. This is already our third exercise. Only two more to go in this block. You got it. Less than 10. We come back down to a high plank for our second upper body exercise. In three, two, one. On or off your knees again. Regular push up, that is it for this exercise. In three, two, one. Here we go. Push ups for 50 whole seconds. This can absolutely be just as effective on your knees here. Yes. Make sure you are continuing to look down, keeping your spine as long as possible, keeping it protected. Focus on your breath work. You inhale as you go down. Exhale as you squeeze and press to the top. Already less than 15 seconds. We have one more exercise up on our feet in 10. In three, two, one. Squat, knee drive, squat, star jack. Knee drive, star jack. So you squat in between. In three, two, one. Squat, knee drive, then into a star jack. If the jump is too much, you can step side to side. That absolutely works. Make sure we are just alternating sides. And then once you feel the rhythm of this, try to speed it up a little bit. This is our cardio power exercise. We want to push. Go ahead. Up. You got it, y'all. You get a little bit of a break in 15 seconds, so push, get there. Last 10 seconds, how many more can you get in? Let's go. Three, two, one, let it go. Three, made it to the first block. Second block is in 32 seconds. So get water, this is your time just to breathe. How do we feel? And then you will meet me on the ground for our next block, which is all four focused. 20 seconds. All right, we start in a high plank on or off your knees. 
with shoulder taps. So hands to opposite shoulder, working on stability of the yeah. core and trunk area. In five seconds, in three, two, one. Alternating shoulder taps, hands opposite shoulder. Remember your knees are here as well to support you through this. Take your time with it, work on the control of this exercise. Thank you so much, Joey. I hope your classes are going so amazingly today. Already halfway through, y'all. Take your time. We have 14 seconds, then we flip over to our back for our next exercise. Actually, our next three exercises, to be honest. Six seconds. Alright, let's see. Three, two, one. Feet down, knees up, top half of a bicycle. So elbow coming up to opposite knee, but we are just working on the top half here. In three, two, one. Here we go. Opposite shoulder coming up off the floor. It can be a slight movement here. You just want to squeeze through your upper core and oblique to get that opposite shoulder up off the floor, even just the littlest bit here. Good, less than 20 seconds. Then we will work on the second half of the bicycle crunch. Nice workout, you have 12 seconds here. Are we breathing? Remember, it gets hard. Sometimes we forget. Let's be real. Three, two, one. Okay, so the hands stay behind your head. Knees up. You are just going to extend one leg at a time here. In three, two, one. Alternating leg extension. If this is feeling good to you, let's see if we can extend both legs into the opposite, bringing one knee in at a time. Both versions of this exercise are going to be crushing your lower core area. We up here are looking straight up towards whatever is above us to keep our neck long. Good. Less than 20. Yes. It is slow. We're trying to extend our leg as far as we can, if all the way out, and then right back in. In three, in two, in one, up to your butt. Start with your heels down, twisting side to side, trying to reach for the four. In three, two, one, here we go. All the way down, hands touching the four to really get the full effect for your obliques here. Once you're ready, if you want an extra challenge, heels up and keep the same motion going. Make sure we are looking where we are twisting make sure our whole torso is moving with us. Nice. You're already halfway through this. We have one final exercise after this, and then we are halfway through class. Crushing it, friends. You have 15 seconds here, and then we flip over to finish on a low plank. My favorite. Less than 10. You can do a couple more here. Yes, you can, not a real question. We flip over in three, in two, one. Low plank, forearms on or off your knees, whatever feels best to you. We're gonna hold it, we're gonna breathe through it. In three, two, one. Hold, squeeze, breathe up. Long core down towards the floor. We are looking straight down between our wrists. I hope you have missed these plank holds as much as I have. Just breathe. You have the control every time you exhale here. Try your best to imagine your belly button coming the littlest bit closer to your spine. That's gonna help you keep a nice flat back throughout this plank hold. Breathe, you only have 12 seconds. Then we get a break. You got it.
Squeeze. Breathe. Two. One. Let it go, friends. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We are gonna wait 35 seconds this time, and then we're gonna go back to the top and pick it back up from the top of our class. So if you have any questions in the meantime, go ahead and let me know. If not, use this time just to breathe, drink water, do what you gotta do in this moment. It is your time. We have 18 seconds, let me go back to the top. We got it. All right, again, first exercise, we're up. Lower body, squat right into your alternating reverse lunge. Just switching sides, staying low. In three, two, one, we are right back into it. Squat to your reverse lunge. Good. Remember, you can come up out of the squat if your quads need a little bit of a break before going into the other side. We have a better idea this time now of what is coming, what exercise you're coming, how much time that feels like to our bodies. So what can you do maybe a little bit differently this time to make it more effective, maybe more controlled? Let's go. Hey, Em. You have 12 seconds. Then we come down to the floor for our first upper body exercise. In five. In three, two, one. High plank on or off your knees. Three, alternating rows. Third row, t spine rotation. Then you just switch sides. In three, two, one. Here we go. Three rows. Then you open all the way up to the side. Good. If you are in the high plank off your knees, as you open up, come to the sides of your feet before coming back down. Let's go, y'all. Whether this is on or off your knees, we are continuing to move until the last second, getting every last row in, every last rotation in. 15 seconds. You got this. 10 seconds and we come up to our feet for our second and last. Well, for now, lower body exercise. In <laughs> three, two, one. Feet wide, static, low. Lateral lunge, just side to side. In three, just kidding. Three, two, one, here we go. Good. Remember, as you go side to side here and you are staying low, how are you feeling up here in your upper body? Is your core tight? Is your chest up? Are your shoulders back? Think about these things. If you feel like you're coming too forward, just try not to go as low for the lateral lunges. It can be a slight bend in the knee. Good, you are over halfway, less than 20 seconds. Last 10 seconds, then back down to a high plank. In three, two, one, break. High plank, on or off your knees. Remember y'all, it is just push-ups for this exercise. No twists, no surprises. We get set to go. In three, two, one, let's do it. Regular push-ups, just do it slow and controlled. We are in no rush to get this done. Woo! Similar to our plank hold, when we think of breath work with a push up and you are inhaling on the way down, as you exhale and squeeze to the top every time, again, really try to imagine your core getting tighter, belly button getting a little bit closer to your spine. It really helps to maintain stability and form. I promise. 12 seconds. Six seconds up on your feet for your last exercise. In three, two, one. It is going to be our squat knee drive to our star jack. And then you switch sides. Remember, you can step out if that feels good. In three, two, one. Here we go. A little faster once you get into it. All the way out. One and only cardio exercise today. Let's speed it up.
Yes. I'm suddenly like obsessed with this exercise. I hope you are enjoying it. It's a challenging one, but it's a good one. Already less than halfway to go. And you get a little mini break and only one more block friend. We got it. Ten seconds. Get there. Every last rep. Three, two, one. Breathe. Get all the water. You have about 35 seconds. And then we have our last and final block. Block number two. All it is is core. And then we are done. Yes, all the thumbs up. All right. You have about 20 seconds. You do you. Live your best life in this moment. 15 seconds, first exercise, high plank. On or off your knees here, remember, alternating shoulder taps in whichever form feels best to you. Get set. In four, three, two, one. Alternating shoulder taps. Remember, it is slow and controlled here. We want to work on keeping our whole body in that same form, same formation the whole entire time. Yes, Rachel. Thank you for enjoying that exercise with me. I appreciate you. Halfway. So good, y'all. Let's crush this last block together. We got this. We're gonna make it all the way to the end, get every last exercise in, and then go on crushing the rest of the day. Let's go. 10 seconds, then we flip over. One, feet down, knees up, top half of the bicycle crunch. Hands behind your head. Opposite elbow coming up, opposite shoulder. In three, two, one. Here we go. Just trying to get your opposite shoulder up off the floor. For breath work here, you are exhaling as your shoulder comes up. Inhaling as you reset down before switching to the other side. Good. Oh, I am living for the sunlight coming a little bit through my window. <laughs> All right, you have less than 20 seconds. We will move on to our lower core in about 12 seconds. Six seconds. In three, two, one. Hands stay behind your head, knees up, alternating leg extension, or opposite, alternating knee drive. In three, two, one. Here we go. Whichever one feels best to your body right now. Regardless if you are starting with your knees in or your legs extended. We're still alternating our knee drives or leg extensions. Our legs are moving, our lower core is engaged. Keep it slow. Really focus on the control of this exercise. And we really also want to make sure that we are able to keep our lower back connected to the floor throughout. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice work, almost there. In three, two, one. Up to your butt for our twist. So oblique twist right here, all the way to the floor. In three, two, one. We are looking where we are twisting. Our full torso is moving with us. Once you feel it, heels up. You can do that. That's a good one. You are halfway through this exercise. We have one final exercise to go, y'all. We are so, so close to the end. Keep pushing through, digging for that last bit of energy that you have. You absolutely got this. You have 12 seconds. Then we flip over to our low plank. Almost there. 
three, two, one. Forearm plank on your austere knees. Whatever you want to do for this last exercise, we are going to hold. We're going to do it in three, two, one. Here we go. Last exercise. Squeeze, breathe, hold up. Really actively trying to slow down your breath here. You have the control to do it. Use it. Y'all, this is the very last exercise. You are already halfway through it. Let's go. If you have 20 seconds left in you, now is the time to push. Breathe. You got this. Last 10. Almost there. Dig a little bit deeper. In three, two, one. Yes. Let it go. Let it all go. Shake everything out. We are going to stretch a little bit. So get some water. You made it to the end of our exercise portion of class. Yes. All right. So we're going to slow things down a little bit. We will slow the music down, slow our breath down, and stretch. I'm going to give you about 30-ish seconds, 20-30 seconds, and then we will stretch a little bit to finish feeling nice and warmed up for the rest of the day. Y'all crushed it. We are going to start on our feet, so whenever you are ready, I'm going to give us about 10-15 more seconds. And then meet me on your feet and we will stretch a little bit. Similar to our stretch in the beginning, kind of finishing where we started. Alright, feet wide, we are honestly just going to start with actively trying to slow down our breath just a little bit more to bring us back to a slow and controlled space. So we are going to inhale, arms come all the way up, fold at your hips, exhale, fold over, inhale back up. I'm going to let you do this at your own pace, so whatever speed feels comfortable to you right now. Looking all the way up as you inhale up. She'd rather be staying for a day now, I'd rather fix it than mess up again. She'd rather Let's do one more. Biggest inhale up. Hold over when you get to the bottom. Grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Try to let your head hang down, neck relax. Shake your head, yes. Shake it now. Just trying to let everything go. Make your way to your right leg, hold here. So try to slow down your breath. We're gonna hold it for a few breaths on both sides. Still holding your right leg for one more breath. And just making your way over to your left leg. Breathing, really trying to slow it down. We're gonna hold the stretch just a little bit longer than the beginning really give our muscles the stretch they need and deserve. Take one more breath. And come center. We're going to step it out into a high plank and come down to your knees if you have that softer surface under you and that feels good to you. Let's bring your right foot forward into your low lunge. Again, move around a little bit. If you remember how you felt in the beginning of class, how does this feel now? Are you tighter? Are you more open? Hey, Claudia. Hope you're having a good Sunday. So I've come to the if you want a little bit more from this, you can go ahead and use your same side arm to push your knee out towards the side. Get a little bit more into your inner thighs and hip flexors. I just want to be able to take one more breath to get out. Good. All right, gently send your right leg to 
right leg back, we are going to switch to the left side. So again, move around a little bit on this side first, see how it feels, how does it feel different. And if you realize that you need an extra second on one side for the other, I will give you that time to do that. So take your time. And then whenever you are ready, if you do want more, again, you can use that same side arm to push your left knee out to the side. I know it's a little tight here, so really try to breathe into it, keeping your breath slow. Take one more breath here. And let it go. Alright, you're going to send your left leg back. We are going to tuck our toes here at the bottom. Start pushing your butt up into a downward dog. Hold here for a few breaths. You can pump out your knees a few times if that feels good. Whenever you are ready, start tiptoeing your toes towards the top. And then hold in a pike position for a couple breaths. You can have a slight bend in your knees if you feel like it. And again, trying to let your head hang down, neck relax in this moment. Back, slightly bend your knees, start rolling yourself up to the top at your own pace. As you make your way to the top, rolling your shoulders back a few times, turning it into arm circles towards the back. Good, just opening up a little bit one last time. All right, feet are right under hips or right under shoulders about. We are going to finish with a few breaths together. So all at the same time, do it with me here. We are going to inhale, arms all the way up, looking up. Exhale, let your arms swing through. Inhale, arms come all the way back up. Exhale, back down. Two more. Inhale, all the way up. Last time. Hold it at the top this time. Inhale, hands come together. Exhale, down towards the center of your body. Round of applause for making it to the end of class, friends. You absolutely crushed every single second today. Thank you so, so very much for starting your Sunday with me, joining me, sharing your energy, presence, and time with me. It is truly a gift to me anytime I do this. So thank you. I just fell over. I'm um, so thank you so, so much for joining me. I appreciate literally every second always. Um, if you ever have questions, suggestions, requests, literally anything at all, you can absolutely always let me know. I'm here for you as a friend first and then a coach. So you can always reach out to me. Sending so much love to all of you. Have the best, absolute best rest of your Sunday. You keep standing tall, keep smiling, keep doing your thing, whatever makes you feel best in your moment to moment life. Love ya. Bye y'all.